Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. Yes, we are near the end, and I am genuinely recording this the day before 0.6 comes out. So, goddamn, do we have a lot of work to do? <laughs> so, let's see what we can get done. Um, and very likely, what I'm going to do with episode 50, guys, is just play that episode until we get to the end. Until we take Pella and Thessalonica. And at that point, I think we'll call it a good day's work. Let's say that. A good day's work for our empire. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, we've got plenty to do. And yeah, we've been going fantastically. So if you have enjoyed this campaign, the penultimate episode, guys, please do like, please do subscribe. It really does help the channel out in getting these videos to more people. And I just can't wait for 0.6 to be out next. And it'd be quite nice to play a completely different style faction in Epirus, where we only start with like six settlements or something. Not the 102 that you start with as the Seleucids. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't believe we've got anyone else to move. I am not a cow, I promise. But I... D Ooh, maybe you. Nope, you don't need to move. So, let us stick that end turn in there. How about... Where's me diplomat? Where are you? Oh, uh, we did ask... Did we ask them for a protectorate? Welcome. I have done all the building between episodes, guys, so you don't need to worry about that. Become my protector. Did we try this last time? Because I believe we offered them like 200,000 gold last time, and they said no. But look at our strength rating. We'll try it again next time. Uh, but let's press the end turn. And I just want to let you know that I have, in fact, tried to play 20 minutes of this episode. And for some reason, my computer was like, nah... <laughs> And what actually happened was Diodotus's army disappeared. Like, <laughs> this is this is not a joke. They disappeared. Diodotus was still apparently the governor of Athens when I tried to move them across to the settlement next to them. And unfortunately, they were apparently still the governor of Athens, but the army was nowhere to, f to be found, and neither was Diodotus. So I'm guessing Diodotus just decided to disappear for a little bit <laughs> and uh you know run away from what he needs a 70 year old husband no god damn it man spies died oh well and anti-patros the lewd as well oh well and we've got some serious civil disorder obviously this settlement is just going to be horrendously disorderly lithonus purgos though i was not expecting that Oh, we've got games here, so let's get that straight in there. That'll be fine. That will sort that one out. That is why you want to build the Odeons. But Commander Pontos is a little bit of a worry. Especially, do we have the Odeon? Yes, we do. So, yeah, let's get that down to there. And like I say, we are going to go after these rebel settlements. I don't want these filthy holes in the land. Apparently, we can't get there. So, I don't know what we're going to do. But like I say, everything in the east that's not Greece, we are going to try and auto-resolve if it will allow us to. So, that is what we're going to be doing. Um, because everything is focused on Greece now. Everything that we have. Loads of people being born. It'd be amazing to like play 30 more turns of this campaign. Because we'd have about 100 people come of age within about 10 turns. So that would be pretty cool to do that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we're not going to. Uh, unfortunately, we have run out of time. Oh! Oh, Antigonids! You always love to tease me, don't you? You naughty, naughty boys! Yes! Well, thank you for that. Uh, Auto-resolve this. Twelve men! Not the twelve men, no! <laughs> right, let's go straight on to whatever this is. Thermon. Capitale. Bang, shlibbity bang. And apparently we can go straight in because of the elephants. How did they kill 162? I will never know. Also, we lost a ton of elephants because they get put right to the front in those battles. Right, let's go for the final settlement. This is how you chain through cities, boys. If you have something that can break down the gates. So, nice. We chain through a few there. I'm also hoping that I can show you guys... 
how to properly uh, chain through cities. And we're going to see whether we can do that here uh, today and with the next episode. So let's go with this. Let's also get that in there. Let's have a look at getting the Shrine to Hera, Thermon. Both of these are only minor cities, which is very surprising. Yes. Right, well, these guys, if we can get one in there, and then one in the next settlement. Please don't disappear. I've had enough of this disappearing act. We had the appearing act of Houdini Ptolemies <laughs> previously. Um, so, yeah, but we didn't have a disappearing act just yet. Right, we're going to come down here. We're going to attack them. We will... Retreat out of it to start with. Just moving all our armies to start with, as usual. Oh, my God. General stack and a half. Is any of these... We've got the faction here. Good job we don't have the faction leader here, because we could actually generally... I think... Although, I don't know whether it works in Rome. It definitely works in Medieval. If you kill the faction here and the faction leader in one turn, they will die. Fully die. So... Um, we'll bring you guys around this way because hopefully we'll take the settlement. But we might not. We might not. We might fail in our glorious fighting victory of... Who is this? Zoilos. What a man. 24 and he's already got 6 command. Glorious. Oh, they're the Ptolemies. I was going to say, where are the Ptolemies? They're just wandering around the lands not knowing what to do. Same thing with the Aetolians now. It's not going to be long before the Aetolian guys become rebels. Right. Let's try this, shall we? I'm going to move these boys out over here. Okay, they didn't disappear this time. That's always good. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. Get in there. Yes! They did not disappear. Glorious. Oh, we lost... Who did we... Why did I bring them? I was supposed to bring the elephants. <laughs> Get back in there. And the Ellie's... And also... What? I swear I didn't select everyone. Are you kidding me? I swear... <laughs> Weird things happened around Athens and to, to, to Nagra. And yeah, you get back in there as well. Come on, guys. Don't be so silly. Right. Diodotus, my friend, back in there. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that was stupid. That was probably that. Okay, they've not disappeared this time. That's glorious. But I was going to say, that was probably the... Um, the governor of Tanagra, so yeah, I'm just being dumb, aren't I? As usual, I've also swapped around the recruitment over here to get a general so that we can get generals rather than the Hetairoi uh, because I think this army is pretty much ready to go. So that's another army that will go and smash. Seleucia so Hediphon, very nice indeed. Right, let's have a look up at Atro Patine. Unfortunately, my only ally that's not betrayed me in this game, like, that we've boarded for a long time. So, we are going to betray them. Poor guys. Poor guys. I mean, I do feel a little bit bad for them. But at the same time, uh, we got to do what we got to do, haven't we? That horrible green stain on our lands shall not stand forever. And, we, I like, we do have lands here. The only thing I'm worried about with this is just if they have a big army in Ekbatana. But, uh, I mean, hopefully they don't. I swear we've got... Where's that secondary army? Oh, they're there. You, sir, are going to go for this settlement. Apparently you have to still go around that way. That's fine. And uh, we've also got you, who needs to come down for this settlement. I believe they've got a pretty big army out this way somewhere. They must have at least one big army. Oh, there it is. Ultimately, we want to auto-resolve that, so we might have to squish the boys together. Right, you might as well go down to Ekbatana, whichever way is the fastest way, and just see how many bloody armies they've got there. They're going to have a lot of generals about, aren't they? That's the problem, because they've been around for such a long time. Uh, you need to build some roads. I'll also queue in the mines. Uh, you have roads now. Good. Fantastic. So do you, which is good. Build that. Right. Uh, where else do we want to move? We've got... These boys have moved. All the three over there have moved. India is not really a concern right now. I've got too much going on to worry about India. So, let's not worry about India for now. 
they're just it's just too unhappy over here to even like move out of the settlements so <laughs> we do however need to kill the ptolemies that is 100 percent something we need to do we cannot mess around with this anymore the ptolemies deserve to die and they will die okay they have like a trash army over there that's fine uh once we've got that general we'll be good so i think that's everything oh the ships the ships how could we forget about the glorious ships what I'm going to do is come, like, as far away. If I could get to that port, that would be lovely. Absolutely beautiful. But no, we can't. So let's get over here. We are going to go, like, far, far away. As far away from them as possible. Because although the AI believes that it can't... Uh, that it won't, like, attack us. How long for you to get there? That's fine. We're going through this way anyway. What the hell? What the hell is that music? What the fuck is going on? I need to check this, guys. What is going on? Apparently, that's the new Discord call sound. Because I was quite freaked out then. I thought I'd been like, my computer had been hacked. And some random hacker was just <laughs> playing weird music. But apparently that's the new Discord call sound. I did not know that. That is very strange. I'm very sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that freaked me out probably just as much as you guys. Um, <laughs> I was like, this isn't the music for, uh, <laughs> for Rome Total War, man. <laughs> Please, let it not be the music for Rome Total War. Right, they do have some good phalangites and some good infantry. But I think our Ellies and Hetairoi can have a, a cheeky dig at these boys. And hopefully we can kill them without too many losses. But this is a very darn large Antigonid army. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battle map. Today is a grim day. It is a grim day. It's raining a little bit too much. They do not rejoice there we are. Brave men die. Yes, they do. We've already gone through this. They love seeing brave men die. Right. Let's get the unit banners back on, as usual. So, obviously, we don't want to go down there. So, <laughs> we're going to stay over this side. Uh, we're going to group all the boys up. We're trying to group. And I'm also going to try and say marmalize a lot more. Because recently I was thinking about that word. I don't know whether this happens to you guys. But I am quite weird. So every now and then I'll get a word in my head. And I just love it. And I just think about the word. Like, just who came, who thought of the first, like who was the first person to think like, Marmalize was a good way of describing getting marmalized. Like, I don't know. But it sounds fucking awesome. I don't know why. It just sounds... Hello, AI! <laughs> go, go, go! AI gonna AI, boys! That's what we like to see. Glorious! Get these boys going forward. Let's marmalize them. Please don't run up this hill. That's the most dumbest thing you could do, bro. bro. Well... Let's go here. Let's use our newfound trickery of control. Let's try and force them into fighting. Like, probably more like there. Let's force them forward. Ah, we should have uh, grouped these boyos together. We don't want them to run away. That is the main thing. We do want them to come in. But at the same time, we can't turn down this opportunity to marmalize this army. There we go. We got one in. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Look at these boys. Look at this dude. Oh, yeah. Time to marmalize. I think we need to kind of focus a bit more like this. Go, 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 go. All on fire at will. High past this. We need to get you up there with the cav. These high past this are going to be very crucial to, to flank. Same thing with this cav. A glorious Hetairoi. Let's have a look at them. Let's just slow down everything. Let's have a look at these boys. Oh, baby! Come on, the companion cav. Little, not very often was uh, the old uh, Antigonid's companion cav outmatched by someone else's. And ours will outmatch theirs today. Why are we on fucking fire arrows, bro? Well, that's dumb, isn't it? Let's just get all our javies out of the way. And we are going to melt them around this flank, it looks like. 
if they carry on with such a formation. Well, I don't like attacking the Phalangites head on. That's definitely not something we want to do. Right, let's go then. Like, unfortunately, the Agira Speeders are going to take some serious damage here. You guys get there. Let's get there and let's keep coming. Same thing with the high pastists. Ellie's, where do we want you to go? I think probably through the cav. So let's keep going. Who do we have here? Greek hoplites, not something we really need to worry about. Get over there then. Phalangites getting through them. We need to flank them ASAP. That's the main thing. That is the only way we're going to beat these boys. So they're going to do that. I passed this, get there. They did charge one of their generals into there. Come on, Ellie's, right? Your time to shine, my friends. They've got a lot of generals, like we've seen. Let's go, 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 go. You get in the back of there. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Let's get them. I was not expecting the 304 cavalry to do that. They didn't even kill that many. <laughs> Poor fuckers. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, the Ellie's. We love to see the Ellie's in Cav. Oh, baby. Spicy Cav. See if your uh, generals enjoy this so much. Uh, they've got a phalangite there, so we've got to be careful. Get that hoplite unit, I guess. <laughs> yes. Right, this is, this is the key here, though. What do we do with the cav now? Straight in the side of them. Go, 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 go. It's a bit chaos over here, isn't it? No, the fucking elephants have gone mad. Deary me. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that, I've got to say. What is this over here? Like, is this just cavalry? This is all the bodyguards? Well, hi, hi past this. Let's get in there. Okay, that's one general dead. Cab, let's go. All the Ellie's are just dying, man. It's quite unfortunate. Oh, shit. Oh, all those bloody guys have gone. Uh, my general needs to get out. Get out, my friend. I know, Zoilos, you're a brave man. Don't be so brave that you are stupid. So they're getting flanked there. We need to get into, like, the middle here. You get there. You get there. And you get there. Right, Cav. Oh, hello, General. Are you still alive? They had so many Generals. We're not going to kill them all, are we? Let's be honest. That's another General. Right, straight in there again. We just watch these. Just watch these. I know you're probably going to get caught on them. So go over that way. Scoot around them. There we go. Bit of lovely micro there. If I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, get in there, my friends. Okay, nope. Fight the Akontist die if they're going to fight you. Let's fight them. This has been quite a messy battle. But it's not been horrendous. See if we can get a bit of a nice charge off on those. Yes, we can. Oh, and we didn't even need to kill our own elephants. Right, back into the back of the Lucas Speeders here. You guys go. How many have we killed? 28% left. That's not great. <laughs> oh, hello, General. <laughs> you cheeky little chappy. Let's go. Kill him. Oh, he's, he's running. Fool. I think the thing is here, I think we can probably make them break if we just charge him. So, come on, guys. Let's go. And the rest of you surrounding the men, I don't really mind. What we need to do, though, is just get the hell away from those elephants. <laughs> go. All the way down there. You guys, too. All the way over there. Apart from, actually, the archers. Let's go after them. You guys keep fighting. These guys kill them. So, if we can get all the way over there, that would be great. How many have we got left? Saying 16%. That's a bit tasty. Oh, damn the elephants. No. Hopefully they get a bit of healing. So really do not want the Ellie's. Like, they're going after them, but we're probably going to be quicker than them. Right, go, 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 go. Kill as many as you can. Kill, kill, kill. Go on a rampage, my men. Rampage time. You kill them. We, we are not going to uh, have killed everyone. It's very unfortunate, but oh well. Keep going. Uh, you guys keep going as well. In fact, you should probably go after them. So, there we go. And you guys get there. Let's go. 
Nice. Glorious victory. I mean, we did lose a lot of men. But it wasn't... It's not the end of the world. We lost a lot of elephants. That was the main thing. I mean, it was quite chaotic, really, wasn't it? Especially from that AI start. But we managed to pull through. So, glorious victory. Some big... What about the elephants? No! Casualties healed! No! Well, at least I'll have three elephants left. So, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And it was a glorious victory. So, let's smash on these gates. And... Oh, God. We're going to lose quite a few men, I think, in the assault, unfortunately. Um, so, oh, well. We shall see what happens there. Still got a good enough army to do a few sieges around this region. Um, and now we've got a build. So let's do our one little bit of building of the episode. And let's actually go off the construction report here. Uh, we'll go to the top. Uh, Doro Epo Rioropos. Not really anything worth it there. Oh, get some walls. <laughs> Not really worth it still, but it's fine. Uh, over here at Sagalassos. Just get the Lyceum. Make you even happier. Raithu over here. Just got the Great Agora. Very nice indeed. You are Greek, so we don't need a Greek colony here. Uh, let's go for the Wooden Walls. Uh, the Scalion. Let's go for the Aqueducts. Heliopolis, Syria. Let's go for the Irrigation. Uh, Baroya, what can we get? Great Agora. Let's get, we'll go for more expensive buildings in here as well. And we'll try and go quick. Just what we see. Let's get just a load of economic buildings. Not that it matters too much, but you don't want to you don't want to be, you know, just leaving your coffers with thousands of gold coins for no reason. Um, so, yeah, we might as well do the building, even though we know we are finishing. Uh Ptolemaeus Hermayu. Let's go for that one. Bostra. Let's go for the Agora. And Kabira's already building another set thing. Palmyra has upgraded now. Cool. Let's get the Spice Road. Megala Apollonopolis. Let's get the Great Agora. And try Bactra. Let's go for the Aqueducts. Maruka. Let's have a look. Let's get those. The stone walls are actually worth it because they give an extra 5% law from the other two wooden walls. So they are definitely worth it, kind of. Uh, but, yeah. Not hugely worth it, though. <laughs> Amicia. Let's go for that one. And Alexandria Caucasia. Let's find Nymphaios. Let's go for that as well. Oreos. Let's go for the ports. Messene now got the Megas Hippodromos. And that's about it. Good. Right. That was quite quick. So let's uh, press the enter. Forgot to move that army by Zadrakata. Uh, oh, yeah. And I forgot about this army. <laughs> we do have a commander here, but he is a 0, zero, zero. So Let's do that. That's actually quite good because that's allowed us then to move these boys who we weren't going to move. Or we were going to move, apparently. But fine. We'll move them down there. Nice. And uh, let's get this guy. Keep coming down. We need to just find a settlement over here. We're just walking through the desert blindly. I mean, if I was playing this and not recording, I would likely just, uh, you know, toggle the fog of war for a second. But, yeah, we're not going to do that uh, just yet. Ah, these ships. Yeah, we need, to, we need to sort these ships out. They need to escort. Oh, look at the rioting Sirachis over here. They need to escort some of the navies. And they're going to rebel again. Not surprising. Oh, go on, the Ptolemies. Right. I'm going to quick save, guys. And I'm going to auto-resolve. And if we lose it, we will play the battle. Yep, we lost it. Right. I will see you there, and I will play the battle. Oh, baby. Look at this battle map. Come on, the... <laughs> yes! We got a cliffside battle map again. Come on, the boys. <laughs> oh, these battle maps. You gotta love them. You gotta love them. I mean, I would hate them if the AI was on here, but... Uh. 
Exploit the AI, that's what I say. Right. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, we'll move these guys down a bit. I really don't want to be moving these guys around much on this terrain. So, hopefully the AI just decides to attack us, like, in a straight fight. We've also got the Akom Tistai down here, over here. They can go behind, because they'll be able to throw these Javis an absolute mile <laughs> from up here. Uh, hello! I mean, the first army is all horse archers, so whatever. They're just going to have to fire their arrows. I think our Thorakitai, you know, they're enough armor and shield to withstand the horse archers for quite a while. So we're not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to try and flank. Fine. We will come up the hill slightly. To do that. We're still very protected. Uh, and ideally, we want... Oh, we can already fire with these guys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is glorious. I don't know. What are they doing, man? I mean, if they all want to do this and try and get around us, that's fine. But if they come and attack now, we'll just stay in this formation. I mean, dickhead's doing this, man. Don't like that. I'm not a, I'm not impressed, AI. Actually using good battle tactics. Ta tactics? <laughs> Techniques. Oh no, looks like they are going to spice her things up a bit. Let's do that then. Uh, we do want to make sure the missile boys, though, are firing a lot more at the horse archers. So let's get here. So the horse archers are coming forward, but I don't know whether they're... They're going for the charge, maybe. Imbeciles. Oh my god, how far we can throw our jabbies. That is obscene. We could throw them when they were down down here. Well, not quite. Down here. That's insane. I mean, it would be funny if we just regicided the Ptolemies here. Don't think we're going to do that, though. <laughs> These poor generals bodyguard. What is he doing, man? Uh, I would like you guys, if you can, to fire at them. Let's get all these guys on uh, on guard mode. So, uh, there we go. That's their king. So, maybe we will regicide them. That would actually be very good. I would prefer to do that than have to go after that goddamn city they have. They just have no chance. Like, poor guys. <laughs> what are they expecting? Poor guys. They go for a charge here with the general. Thorakitai going to be pretty darn good against them. Even though they're not spearmen. Because they don't have many men left. They're already rioting. Obviously, we have no cavalry to chase them down. That's the main problem. Uh, get you on guard mode. So, stay there, my men. Stay there. Same thing with you. What are you doing? Get here. We really don't need to do much. We just need to stand here and just take whatever they're going to throw at us. Let's speed it up. Well, I didn't put you on guard mode, did I? Well, you get chasing them. Okay. Maybe a bad idea. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Maybe not the greatest of ideas. Are they all... Are they withdrawing? Well, that's one of the guys dead. Uh, they're all just routing, man. And then keep coming back, because they've not... They've got so many men. Let's go. Kill them all. Kill them all. Go, go, go. Run through them. Kill them now. I mean, archers... Should all be firing at these boys. These boys, uh... Right. Let's continue, then. These boys need to come down. Same with the archers and the Akontistai. Let's all get down here. Try and chase after these. I probably should have chased them a little bit earlier. Because we didn't manage to kill that many men, really. Get them. We killed another general then. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Let's go kill them. Go, 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 men, go. Go, men, go. 
They've still got quite a long way to the border of the map. Them. You guys get them. I don't, don't think we've killed anywhere near enough. Yeah, that's not taking into account all the guys who have gone off the map. What a what a what a battle map though. <laughs> oh dearie me. Oh well, maybe maybe we have fully killed them there. That would be glorious. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Praise Ares and oh we actually did take it. Nice. And the Ptolemies still exist. Ah oh, no. <laughs> Uh, okay, Sir Archies. Oh, dear. I knew that would happen as soon as we boarded them. But they have, like, no troops there, so that's fine. And like I say, doesn't really matter. That army that is going down to take the rebel settlements, if we were playing this, con like, continuing this, would head back up here. So, why such old guys? Come on. Two people coming. Another Diodotus in Seleucia, though. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a look. Where do we want to put you, my friend? How about over in these regions? 37-year-old. 50, not that old. Let's have a look. Oh, Coloni up here. Uh, Seleucia. Seleucia apparently doesn't have any walls now as well. <laughs> doesn't look like it has walls anyway. So we got Diodotus, and we got betrayed by the Sirakis, of course, and you meanies all the way over here. That's actually fantastic, because these guys are getting quite old now, uh, but we will leave them there for now. Betrayed by the Sirakis, unfortunate, but a reality, and Nisa has actually upgraded. Wow, Nisa has been through a lot, a lot. <laughs> More people being born. Glorious. Right then. So, like I say, can we move anyone in India? Because it would be nice to take a couple more settlements up here. I mean, 121% is not that bad. I mean, if we left Eumenus in there and left, like, an archer, say. 56%. Not bad. Do we have an Odeon here? No. <laughs> Uh, I think we could probably get that happy. Let's just get some trash munchers. Yes. Like these boys. Get in there. Probably need a couple more than that, to be fair. I know that's plenty. So we can start coming up to these northern settlements and start taking them. Uh, I was going to say, if you gave me a defeat then, I would be fuming. But anyway, it didn't. Only 45% here, and it's only a town. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Um, get Shrine to Hero in there. How about these guys? Could they leave? Ooh, probably not. Let's have a look. Probably after next turn when it upgrades, actually. Because then the, a lot of the culture penalty will be gone. Right, let's do this. Bang. 48 they only killed, and we killed about 10 of their... <laughs> 10 of their guys. They've got this army here. We've also got these guys coming here. Bang. 156 they killed, apparently. Wow. That's the Aetolians dead. And watch Epirus betray us now. Uh, have we got anyone else that can come and govern? Ooh, we've messed that up slightly. But let's get... These guys back to one of the settlements for retraining. Uh, destroy this. Actually, they're plenty happy enough here. They, we don't need an army, but I do want one just in case Epirus decides to attack. We just That's the worst thing that could happen right now, and I bet you it's going to happen next turn. Epirus is going to declare war on us because of this border here. Um, I mean, surely their strength ratio should tell them that that is not a good idea. Right, let's get another mercenary. Just ideally someone cheap. So there are some Indian war elephants as mercenaries here. Very nice. Could get some of those boys, but uh, probably don't really want to. Let's get the rest of these guys. Let's keep training some more Hetai Roy over here. And you guys need to go for that. Tanagra. And then we shall send this army forth once again. 
And I don't really. Oh, they've got some. Uh, they've got some Celtic troops in here. Nice. I feel like we can still take them. So, where do we want to go for though, Demetrius or Larissa? Well, we can let someone else pick up the slack for Demetrius. So let's go straight for Larissa. And unfortunately, we can't show you how to do uh, a bit of a blitz siege just yet. But we can keep on marching, which is the main thing against the Antigonids. Just keep on marching. Keep going, my friends. Keep going. So let's delete that. Let's make sure we build the shrine to Hera in there. And yeah, I think we're pretty good, honestly. Let's get the ship right there. Did we get the general yet? We did, finally. A chaos. The chaos, the chaos, the chaos of a chaos. Right, get up there. Let's sort this army out then. So what do we want? Did we get any archers? Oh, we did. So archers first. We'll get the archers. Then we'll get the four hypastists. Then the four hetairoi. Uh, so we can basically judge how many Agira speeders are needed. Get in there. Oh, two, only two archers went. I don't know why. I must have just misclicked it. So you guys get in there. Then we want the Hetairoi, which are all down here. We didn't get any elephants or anything, though. Ah, this army doesn't need it. It's another glorious army, really, isn't it? So, right, now the Agira Speeders. Let's get you guys in there. We don't need a general in that city. Hopefully, the Ptolemies aren't going to come and take it. <laughs> that would actually be quite a funny move. Four more. So let's go for them. Don't need the armor upgrades. I know it makes them even more powerful, but it's fine. Uh, and we might as well, while we're here, send you across to there just to make sure the Ptolemies <laughs> don't bloody take our settlement. So let's go all the way around. It's going to take you a couple of turns to get back into the action. But during that time, you will also be ready to go and you will be retraining. Plus, we should... See, there they are. Someone tell me that the AI doesn't know where your troops are. <laughs> like, how do they know this? They can move further than us as well. Oh, dearie me. We need to get back close to a port. Imagine. Oh. That's, I think that's the best option there in that little dip. That might be just enough. That might be just enough, but I doubt it. And then hopefully next turn we can get to there. This port, this cataract army we've been building for so long. Right, do we just drop these boys off? That's probably the best option. I was going to pop into there. And unfortunately we can't now. So I think we just drop these boys off. Oh, we've got some armies in Greece. Imagine being a Greek at this point. <laughs> and just like thousands of armies. <laughs> How many armies have we got? One, two, three, four. Pretty much four full stacks. Five. One, two, three, four. Five full stacks now. Just huge armies just absolutely coming from Seleucia to absolutely dominate the uh, the Peloponnese and the rest of Greece. We've got a couple of places that have expanded. That's good. And we've also got Beren uh, Berenike Troglodytike. Uh, and we've also got a faction destroyed, which is not the Ptolemies. It's the Aetolians. Cool. Right. Let's destroy this. I really don't care if this rebels now, because... What is that? Osiris? Not the one we want, but that's fine. Can we leave? That's the question. Not really. <laughs> not really. If we had a general here, it'd be so much better. Get in there. I think with the... Uh, I think with the trying to hear it... Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, what is that? Just a single unit? Let's go kill him. Kill, 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 kill! Let's just make... Just to make sure they don't siege it down, you know. Because that would just be annoying. 24 they killed. Fair enough. They are horse archers. Right. 
Now we need to come across here. Look how many turns it's going to take. Jesus. And hopefully we have enough strength when we get there to actually kill these guys. Maybe it'll be another battle map like that. <laughs> that would be funny. So, you boys. Let's go here. Let's auto-resolve as well. And let us enslave. Uh, let's go on low tax rate. And where did that big army go? Because that was kind of scary. So let's come here. Let's see if we can see it. I mean, they might have gone to ambush. But, yeah, let's go for Gazaka. I'm just worried about Ekbatana. Like, I really don't want there to be an absolute monstrous army in Ekbatana. Right, let's take it slow around here because we don't want to get ambushed. <laughs> that would be funny, though. But at the same time, probably not great for us. <laughs> They do have a bit more of a garrison in there, but as long as we are... I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. But as long as we are, like, sieging this down while marching on with this guy, we're fine. Uh, right, Spy. Like I say, you need to go to Ekbatana. Show us what's going on. Where did that massive Armenian army go, then? Probably just hiding in the hills. <laughs> Right, over here, we've got one more army to move. You guys, straight to Ermayas. No, your Ermayas. To, is this, no, this Pimelis is over there. Kamisa, there we go. Oh, apparently we can assault because we have Ellie's. Bang, shabang. Straight in there. Right, let's uh, get some mercenaries to take over this settlement while we can. Oh, lots of mercenaries, I think. Galatians and everything. Right, oh my ass. You have been a very good servant to us, but you are not a legendary commander. You've just been fighting... The poor guy's been fighting shit wars and shit battles for so long. He was the, the, the man who went originally to Bithynion to try and rally the Galatians to our cause. And after... Oh, I can't remember his name. The first guy got too brazen and was absolutely... Marmalized on the battlefield. There we go. Got another one in there. Um, so, yeah, he, he's he been unlucky, really, I've got to say. He's been quite unlucky in a lot of what he has done during his life. So, poor guy, but it doesn't matter. He's, uh, he's had a good enough life on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got these boys as well. I always forget about these boys. Is that... Is that ungarrisoned? Oh, no. Okay. That looked like it was ungarrisoned for a second. They killed no one. Good. Get out of my land, Greek city-states. Oh, I still got the Seleucid recruitment. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that means we can probably do this and move next turn. And let's build the Odeon in there as well, which is good. And, yeah, I'm Fion. We've got the Slave Trader. Uh, what else have we got over here? Uh, right. Anything else that we have to move? Got tons of armies over here. This is just so scary, I'm not going to lie. You guys just go on a bit of a suicide mission to have a bit of bents. With the Antigonid fleet. Oh, it's only a single ship. They still sunk one of our ships. Bastards. Come on, man. Don't sink my ships. Please. Get some more ships. And I will do the building, guys. But I'll do it off screen. So I'll see you in a second, guys. All done, guys. So let's stick that end turn again. And we are marching quite quickly through the Antigonids, I've got to say. So... There's a chance, there's a chance we can do it in episode 50 in good time, making 300,000 a turn now. Oh, baby! Spicy little battle! Uh, Argios the Angry, I like the sound of this man, but he's only a general. We've got the next factionaire in there. How about Ecrates? Is he just a standard general? He is. So, let's see. Paeonian Cavalry. Uh... They don't have that much good stuff. Just a lot of missile troops. 
So I think we'll be okay. We've got some damaged troops in here, but these guys can march to the ends of the earth, I feel like, at the minute. Under the glorious command of Zoilos. So let's get into the battle, guys. And that should hopefully be... Once we've taken that, I don't think the Antigones will have much left. So let's see. Dusk. Yes. Whatever. Um. Right. Standard. Uh. I mean, the map is not that favourable to us here, in any place. So I think we just go for the flatness. So let's go here. Make sure you're on fire at will, boys. Let's go with all the uh, high pastas are quite damaged, so it doesn't really matter. How we split it. Go for that. Then let's get our archers. Let's get them in here. And very likely they will do the same thing and try just avoiding the front line. I don't know why, but they tend to like to do that. Singular elephant. I thought I would have two elephants with a unit of two. But apparently not. So let's speed it up. And let's see what they do, where they move. Yeah, look, look at them. They're, they're just like... They love to think that they're flanking the AI, but... <laughs> AI gonna AI, right? Okay, no, they're, they're coming straight for us now. Good. So, they have a load of infantry, but our cav is going to be dominant here. Once again, this is... This is the mistake you make, AI. If you had good cav all the time, everything would be so much harder to route your troops, man. So I want to go across this side, because that's where their general is. The archers should be very close to starting to fire now. Good. We're pummeling them. What are these boys? Hetairoi and Pionian Cavalry. Oh, they, they, yeah, th there was Pionian Cavalry there. I was just going to go and have a look at them, but apparently not so. They're absolutely shredding these boys. Oh, my God. Looks like it was Javis mainly, to be fair. Nice, boys. Nice. This is what I like to see. I mean, like I say, guys, you attack me, so come and have a go. If you do think you are hard enough, and very unlikely that you are hard enough, so... I mean, we're going to chuck Javis at you. Let's have a go at them, because we think we're hard enough. They also do think they're hard enough, but it's going to prove to be folly. Right. I mean, if you want to just bring your skirmishes to die... Be my guest, friends. That was a great charge by the AI. <laughs> oh, hello. Was not expecting that. Go, go, go. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Yes. Oh! How did you miss them? You absolute goblins. You absolute goblins. Come on. I don't know why they're goblins, but they are goblins. Nope. Doesn't look like they're going to catch him. Well, well done, AI. These guys are just my horse archers right now. <laughs> Poor you, Zonoi. What are you, Thurio Foroi? Are they withdrawing? Okay, no. Good, 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 good. I'm glad they're not withdrawing, I've got to say. Let's bring the cavalry back behind and see what they do. Uh... I don't think that was getting behind. Well, go, 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 though, so that we can actually take out their general that's running away. That is what you are here to do. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Go, you can get them. There we go. There we go. Don't stop. Yeah, chase them down. Uh, I don't know what they're doing, but whatever it is, it's dumb and it's annoying. <laughs> I mean, if you want to... I mean, I've got these guys here, you know. Um, right, archers. It's time to do what you did to all the rest of the boys. Uh, I didn't mean to do that for that, Agira Speeders. Well, looks like they're going to be dumb and do some stupid stuff. So let's just go and take them out. <laughs> all the archers should now be firing. Did we manage to get them? Oh, look at the generals coming after us. Oh, it looks like they're just a bit too fast. Come on, Air You can do it. Look at these poor, bo poor boys. 
Uh, how's this all going? We've got phalangites there. Right then. You guys can get behind. You guys fight them. You guys fight them now. Same with you. Go fight them. You guys get in there. Where did that... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cab's now dead. Fire at will back. And right then. Where do we want to go? Right. Probably around this flank now. Now that Thurio 4 cavalry is gone. Oh, no. We took the charge from the general. Oh, dearie me. And we didn't kill the other general. So we're not going to take the city in this fight. But we should be able to auto-resolve it next turn very easily. So I'm not too worried. Uh, okay, we broke all them. That's fine. Get after these boys. Greek archers. Poor buggers. All right, kill them. Uh, hello, whoever you are. Cretan Hoplite is actually quite a good unit. But let's not worry ourselves with them at the minute. If they get engaged, though, we will. All right, while we're here, then, into the Greek Hoplite. If that general is withdrawing, I'll be very upset. No, he's not. Good. Uh, right then, boys. Back over here. I don't think we need to f worry about those units too much. As long as we kill, like, the rest of everyone. We should be good. Right. Back into there. You guys in there. And then we will, once from this charge, we'll bounce onto the hoplites. What are they? Mercenary hoplites. Yeah, broken. Nice. Or at least we broke one unit. We didn't break the scored Discian infantry. Because they are Celts. Celts are very brave. <laughs> it would seem. We've got the Royal Peltas there as well. Right, now out, now out, now out, now out. Did the Scordiskians run? Uh, right, I want you guys to chase after them. Right, you go there. You guys go there. And let's go after the back of these boys. The Greek hoplites and all that. Is that a general? That is a general. Good. Okay, good charge. The Cretan hoplites now are going. Good. Right, out now, boys. Out. And hopefully we can trap them in. Let's get there. You guys get there as well. Lucas Speeders are not actually the, get the best phalangites. They're not actually that good. What do we have here? Who is fighting who? This Thurio Foray is absolutely staying around for a long time. Fair play. Right, let's go after this general then. Let's not let him escape for no reason. Kill them. These guys are down to like 10 and 11. Get in there. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. No. Shoot the bastard. Shoot him. Shoot the bastard. What is this? Let's kill them. Where is that other... Wait, was that the... Oh, here he is. I was going to say. Where is that fool? So we've lost a couple of generals, unfortunately. Looks like arrows are still hitting him. Oh, he's just got out of range now. What a bastard. What a horrible bastard. Right. Let's kill the Cretan. Oplites, who are actually very good. You chase them down. You guys crush these boys. Uh, you come forward. Fact, you should probably be chasing them. Just so we got some speed about us. What is that? Singular Greek archer. Right, time for the general, finally. Don't know where they're going to charge, but we need to go and fight them. Go, 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 like I say. Please. <laughs> Don't do this to us. The Cretans are, are just beastly. What a bunch of hoplites, man. What beastly hoplites. Right, I mean, you're go I know you're going for the charge, but we're also going for the charge, so let's see what happens. Right. Oh, glorious. At least it's not their king. Well, not at least it's not their king. It's actually good. Right, go kill them. Right, let's speed everything up. Just continue. Go, go, go. Elephants, go. I don't think the elephants will reach there. <laughs> Uh, if you can fire, that would be good, actually. Just to kill that last guy. Let's run him off the battlefield anyway. Get out of here! We got him! <laughs> nice! 
Uh, yeah, I think I think we should have taken the city, but we won't have because we didn't kill all the generals. Ah, god damn it. Anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Glorious victory once again. I mean, the Antigonids can, you know, blockade as many ports as they want, but what is it going to do, my friends? <laughs> We're making 300,000 a turn. 300,000! Oh, dear. Mithridates the Honest. Oh, my God. Look at the amount of generals they have. Ooh. Well, I think this is a battle that needs to be fought on the battlefield because... Let me quick save and let's see. And we're going to auto-resolve. Wait! <laughs> Apparently those uh, generals didn't do so well. Mithro Buzani's the morbid and Mithro Darty's the honest. What boys. What good names. <laughs> I love that. Absolutely love it. Nice. Uh, well, this poor army is just marching through the desert for pretty much no reason. <laughs> I don't know why we've... Uh, come back out here but that's fine and apparently there's no settlement here so we're just gonna go i think there's one around these little inland bits apparently there is so we're gonna come down this way and apparently there's an army there as well we've got a lot of archers in this army really haven't we the archer army very nice writing in aura now i don't even know where that is it's here apparently they're happy now though okay Get a wall and then a road. Uh, agent found the Antigonids, of course. Arianos has now died in Ant uh, Antioch. Oh, well. Uh, lots. Of, see, that amount of kids we're getting born now because the amount of settlements we're taking is quite obscene, really. It's, it's quite glorious. Right, Ptolemies. Let's go for them first. Going to take forever to get across here. That's going to have to wait till next time, but we hopefully will be able to destroy them. It would be a very, very big shame if we want, we, we can't. <laughs> right. Larissa, let's auto-resolve this. If that had defeated, then I would have been fuming once again. Never auto-resolve, my friends. Never auto-resolve. <laughs> and they have a spy in here as well. Oh, look at this. Quite a good little recruitment hub in Larissa. Can we get Larissa and Cav? No. Fine. Let's just build our recruitment hub here. And again, same thing. We need to start building some more governors again. Unless we... So, I think in here, this is the best place. This is what we're recruiting over here, but... Fine. Anywhere else that's... Yeah, like here in Marcias. Let's just smash out a few. Um... No, I, I don't want to worry about the Ptolemies right now. Really not important. So let's go for Demetrias. Now, for our sort of hit and run tactics or blitzing tactics to work, work we kind of need two big armies over here to near each other. So whether we can get that, I don't know. Right, let's go straight for... Lysa Market, which is actually the GCS's capital right now. Interesting. Let's build that. And let's get you in there. Let's also recruit another one so we can, you know, govern Lysa Market when we, when we can. Let's go get a couple. Uh, right. This army should now be fully retrained. It is. Oh, got so many armies, man. So we will have actually two armies over here. Oh, we, we didn't get destroyed. Our ships did not get destroyed, man. Good. So that's Diodotus. We've dropped off the ships from here. You guys can now go back into there. Get retracked. I don't think we need many more armies. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, let's retrain everyone. What are we missing then? Looks like we're missing a unit of Cav. So let's get a Hetairoi. Those boys are still just Zistaphoroi over there. Like... I just don't think we're going to get to the point where this army even can be used again. <laughs> like, I just don't think we're going to get there. But fine. We'll, we'll steep, still keep on recruiting. Uh, we are just using all our money for recruitment now. Which is good, to be fair. 
So let's keep that going. Let's get another Neocretan. And there isn't actually many, much more we want to recruit there. Right. So, Ptolemies, you have chosen death, it seems. Um, I mean, you should die very soon. Not really bothered about rebels marching around the lands. So, I think that's everyone moved in Greece. Apart from the ship, actually. Ship, ship, ship. ship. Look how close they got. Wow. Let's get onto the docks then. So we are safe for at least a turn. <laughs> then we probably need to be able to get there, which we can do probably next turn. So unless they blockade us, which would be quite annoying. And then we can drop the cataphract army off over here. And they should be able to march. I just want to have one battle. Is that too much to ask? A singular battle for the cataphracts? Probably too much to ask, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's see if we can leave now. Did we get the Odeon in there? <gasps> Looks like we did, man. Nice. So we've got a nice little foothold in India now as well. Awesome. And some more Javi calves. Yay! <laughs> oh, dear. Not the units of choice, I've got to say. But anyway. Uh, what can we train here? Some 304 Oi Cav. Not really worth it, in my opinion. <laughs> Not worth it at all. Uh, let's make sure we are building over here. Let's get a stone walls to make this area look a bit nicer. Because all these guys have stone walls. Bit of aesthetic. Bit of a cheeky aesthetic for the boys. And we do have this guy now going for Pimolisa. So let's also have a look at our Atropatine boys. Um, and hopefully... So we've taken there. Right. Let's get going. I wonder how upset they are. They're actually not upset at all. Glorious. Well, you, in fact... Equitan is just too far away for you. So... You should come back over this way. Not that we're ever, we're ever going to have one of those fights. But, like, we play this like we would continue playing, you know? We've got to keep it real. Um, would you have... Oh, I was so worried about that then. It's enslave. They might... The problem here is they might actually get... They might actually get a... Uh, what do you call it? A doom stack uh, from... Reducing them to their last settlement. And they might have some fat armies over here as well. Oh. No. Looks like they've just got this. Which is whatever that is. Well, let's have one turn of, of uh, sorting these settlements out. And then we are going to get the hell out of Dodge. And go straight for Ekbatana. This army's quite damaged as well. So we might need both of these armies just in case... They have a uh, really big army somewhere. And straight for the Shrine to Hera. Good. Uh, Hibis has expanded. Nice. Right out here in the desert. And the Slave Trader. Cool. We are absolutely pummeling <laughs> enemies right now. <laughs> you know, there's nothing that can really stop us anymore. So these two armies. Why are you so unbelievably slow? You are incredibly slow. Well, I think... Yeah, I think... <sighs> mm, do have another guy there. This army's pretty darn damaged now, but honestly, I don't think they'll have much more. So we probably don't need to send you back for retraining. Especially seeing as this army is going to be ready to go... In two turns? Potentially? Let's just smash out a few more of these boys. Got anything we can train here? Yeah, we're training just Akontistai to govern the settlements. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So next time is going to be the final episode. So make sure you do like and subscribe because this has truly been a very glorious campaign. And we are very close to eradicating the one stain left in the middle of our land. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we do have a, that one Pimalisa over here that's a rebel settlement. But apart from that, yep, <laughs> the singular stain 
on our land over there. And we are going to eradicate them as well. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.